from the office to the house or even along a path at the beach. It said we should be taking 10,000 steps each day. But studies show on average we're only getting about half of that. So how important is walking? Should we step up our game? With the assistance of a few walking poles, Bob McMillan says this is an exercise he can do. I had polio when I was a kid, yeah. It's affected that I can't do other things now. I, I used to golf a lot. I used to ski. I can't do those things anymore. But walking is a good, safe thing that I can do. At his side, Bob is joined with walking partner Phyllis McCormand, an 88-year-old who's been walking for, well... Well, as I told her, 88 years. <laughs> you know, I probably didn't walk much the first year. Phyllis started walking regularly after getting a dog as a little motivation. Although with a stretch like this, she probably didn't need a whole lot of push to begin with. They're super flexible. I think I've always liked exercise, and I always run up the stairs two at a time. I just generally tear around. For Bob and Phyllis, staying active is a no-brainer, but that's not the case for a lot of us. Studies have actually shown that only 15% of people get enough physical activity each day. So one UVic PhD candidate is taking a look at this by looking at seniors and walking. I am promoting uh, physical and cognitive health in older adults through physical activity. So we're just going to start walking slowly and getting our bodies moving. Currently a triathlete and with a background in volleyball, Christina Kowalski knows the ins and outs of staying active. So I pretty much uh, live and breathe physical activity and just hope to promote it in uh, everyone around me. She'll be working with about 100 seniors in a supervised walking program. The game plan is to start off nice and slow. Low intensity walks, low pace and short distance, switching up the locations and the terrain. Eventually they'll build up the recommended 150 minutes of physical activity per week, set by the Canadian Physical Activity Guideline. But 150 um, is good for health benefits, so we're looking at things like preventing chronic disease, breast cancer, colon cancer, diabetes. Kowalski will also take the seniors indoors on a pressure sensitive mat to study their gait. So looking at step rate and stride length. And then I'm also going to be doing some cognitive testing. So I'm going to be looking at uh, people's thinking and memory and learning. And I'll be monitoring that throughout the program as well. Working in stages and setting goals is something Bob and Phyllis are comfortable with. And they're looking forward to seeing what the research results will show. So I figure as long as I can do a mile or two a day, I'm doing pretty good. The study will go on for four months and Kowalski expects to publish the findings of her research by next summer. Reporting in Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz.